Hello, I'm Andy Moore, and on today's episode of Handy Andy, we're going to install a light bar. So ever since I started following Super Routebacks and seeing them on the road and like reading about them and being interested, there were two modifications that I was super excited about that I knew that I always wanted. Well, three. One was a roof rack, like a big basket. I have one of those. It's not the one I want, but this is the most cost-effective model. Secondly is a lift kit with like bigger wheels and tires, and that is a stretch goal um, that I'm not gonna do until I need to get new tires, and then we'll assess where we're at uh, financially. And third, is a rally light bar, a bully bar on the front bumper. I think I want lights on it someday. I don't have those yet, but I'm super excited that I get to install the rally light bar today. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like with it on there. So I've watched all of the other YouTube tutorials. I understand I take the bumper off, but if there's one thing that I've learned about car modification, it's that it is always more difficult when you actually do it. So let's get into it. Part of doing work on your car by yourself is that you step on your saw. Also, that I try to get it done while my daughter is sleeping. So far so good, it's only been 15 minutes to get that bumper removed. Uh, and so we're going to put on the brackets first. There's a, there's a one page of instructions that comes with this. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, Rally Innovations just sends us one page. It's literally six, uh, eight, 10 pictures. Step one, remove front bumper, that's done. I'm gonna move this camera to a different tripod so we can do this a little more effectively. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I'm supposed to remove this piece of foam. Now for what I understand you want to leave these brackets a little bit loose uh, because when we're putting the bumper back on um, you want to kind of test fit it. I think the idea is that you get it mostly level. What the hell is happening? Why are there always leaf blowers on my street? Every time I make a video, someone is using a leaf blower. Is that what this world is coming to? So what the instructions don't tell you, when it says remove the front bumper cover and foam piece in front of the bumper beam, that's true, but there's nowhere that says you have to remove the splash guard. Splash guard? What is that thing called? Kick plate? Rock guard, right? Also, all the instructions are in black and white, so it's really hard to tell exactly what you're looking at. That means I'm also going to have to cut the splash guard, which is in step 10. That's the very last step. So I guess I'm going to improvise. So as I started to reassemble, I realized it's not as easy as you would think, which is exactly what I said in the beginning of this video. It's always more difficult when you actually do it. All right, so the bottom splash guard, um, you have to trim, and that's in the instructions, but it's, again, in black and white, and it just says, cut the splash guard as shown by the tape, but you can barely see what the tape says. So uh, really, it was more of an experiential situation. If at first you don't succeed, switch to power tools. I mean, if you don't have a Dremel tool in your toolbox, I have three. You should definitely get one or two. Um, I have a cordless and then two corded ones that have a little higher power, uh, which is what I used here. Small corded one. You never know. When you're working on your car, man, Dremel tools come in handy all the time. <laughs> 